Hello my friends. Welcome back to DG Friends channel. Let's start a new tutorial. First of all, drag the picture of a brick wall into the Photoshop. Unlock the layer. Go to Image, Duplicate Image, and rename the new duplication as you wish. Click on OK. While still on the duplicated image, go to Image, Mood, and hit Grayscale. And for the next message, because we don't need the information of the color, click on Discard. Now, we need to save this map for the later usage. Go to File, Save As, and give it a name. Click on Save. Now click on the main image and drag the subject that you want to put on the wall. I drag it on a free space on the menu bar in order not to make it in Smart Object. But there are a different way in the Photoshop settings that enables you to drag your picture directly on another picture without making it in Smart Object. I will explain it later in another video. For now, click on Move Tool. Holding Alt, drag a copy of the picture on the wall. Using the handles at the corners of the picture, resize and adjust it as you wish. Go to Filter, Distort, and click on Displace. Put the horizontal and vertical scales, both on 10. Hit OK. The Photoshop asks you to show a map for the placement of the picture. And this is why we saved a copy of the brick wall without the color information at the beginning of the tutorial. Go to the place that you saved that file. Click on it and hit Open. Click on the background layer, hit Ctrl J and make a duplication of the layer. Drag the duplicated layer above the other layers. Hold Ctrl Shift and U, to desaturate the layer. Now click on Blend Mode and hit Hard Light. Hold Ctrl L and go to Level Settings. Use the handles to make some fine adjustments. As another example I drag a picture with a background, but in this case, we want just the character not the background. Click on Quick Selection Tool and hit Select Subject. If you use an old version of the Photoshop, of course you do not have this option. You have to use the Quick Selection Tool and select the subject yourself. Start selecting the background while you are on Add Brush option. If there are some missed selections, click on the Subtract from Selection icon and subtract the unnecessary selections from your work. Because we do not need a detailed selection, do not get worried about the hairs or other details. Hold Ctrl Shift and I, to reverse the selection. Click on Move Tool. Hold Alt and drag a copy of the picture to the main work. Change the size and adjust the picture as you wish and hit Enter. And here's the final result. Because we are newcomers in this media, please grant us your support and hit subscribe, like, and hit the bell. Thank you so much.